Many people have commented on my Duga Radar videos saying that they hear the woodpecker on the HF bands all the time, woodpecker being the name for the rogue signal transmitted by the radar. When I tell them that the woodpecker has been inactive for over 35 years, it tends to cause some confusion, so I thought I'd make a video explaining what it is that they're likely hearing. The Container Radar, or to use its full name Container 29B6, is a newer generation of Russian over-the-horizon radar that replaced the Duga system. It provides long-distance airspace monitoring and ballistic missile detection. It was developed as part of Russia's program to bolster its patchy radar surveillance coverage which was left with huge gaps after many of the former Soviet radar stations were taken over by new states and many others fell into post-Soviet disrepair, Duga being a prime example. With the collapse of the Soviet Union, it became impossible for Russia to operate radar such as Duga and they fell into disrepair. The early 1990s saw a new Russia starting to plan a new generation of over-the-horizon radar. Container, officially and originally designated Object 5452, allegedly started to be developed from 2007, but many sources indicate that work started much earlier. Planning for the location of an experimental container system began in 1995, with locations such as Smolensk, Kapuzin Yar, Tambov and the Republic of Kazakhstan all suggested. The first container system was constructed between 2000 and 2002 at a cost of 10 billion rubles. It was eventually commissioned in December of 2013. After a test phase, it finally entered service on the 1st of December 2019. Russia's defence minister said in 2015 that in total there would be as many as six container systems in place by 2020. However, as of 2023, a second container system is planned to be constructed and put into service in Far Eastern Russia, but we'll come to that soon. Russia is planning to deploy a network of container-type radars to provide early detection of airborne threats over its entire territory and beyond its borders. Specific dates, the number of radar stations, their location and other details have not yet been disclosed. The container radar can detect all types of aerodynamic targets including planes, helicopters, drones and cruise missiles. The radar can monitor airspace up to an altitude of 100 kilometers, with a sector 240 degrees wide and it has a range of 3000 kilometers. Like Duga and other radars of this kind, it actually consists of two separate antenna arrays, one for transmit and one for receive. The system is aligned on a bearing of 095 and 275 degrees to monitor airspace west of Russia, the Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea region. The radar apparently uses new mathematic models to allow it to determine the type of target in real time without needing to calculate the entire flight trajectory. Like the former Duga system, the radar transmits all over the broadcast and amateur bands with no regard for anyone using these frequencies it often causes massive interference problems. Like all radars such as this, it consists of a transmitter site and a receiver site. The initial container receiver site had one array and was situated 6 km to the southwest of Kovilkino. The initial transmitter site, also consisting of one array, was located 5 km north of Gorodets. The system in this configuration covered airspace to the west of Russia with a central bearing of 275 degrees. The transmitter site at Gorodets was dismantled from February 2018 and the area has been quickly reclaimed by nature with only the concrete footings that supported the masts and a few buildings remaining. 
2018 saw construction well underway on two additional receiver rays at the Kovilkino receiver site, forming a triangle. The original array continued to cover a 275 degree bearing, and the new arrays covered 155 degrees and 215 degrees, enhancing the coverage of containers significantly. Each receiving array consists of 144 masts, 34 metres tall. They're split into three sections, where the two outer ones, consisting of one group of 23 masts and the other of 24, is between 300 and 310 metres wide. Each antenna here has 14 metres of spacing between them. The inner section contains the remaining 97 masts, with 7 metres between each. The total length of the array is over 1.3 kilometres. In 2016, work began on a transmitter site to replace the one at Gorodets. It initially consisted of three arrays arranged in a Y pattern, each with the same three bearings as the receiver site. In 2017, the southern array, originally built to cover 275 degrees, was modified to cover 095 degrees by adding a second array behind. Generators for power can be seen on each arm of the transmitter array. Earlier I mentioned proposed plans for a secondary container radar system in the Far East. Well, 2016 saw land cleared and the apparent construction of that secondary site. Not much happened for a number of years, but recent satellite imagery shows a container radar received site well underway. As for the transmitter site location, that's anybody's guess. A number of years ago, Russia also reported a site in planning for Kaliningrad in the west, but as of yet, nothing has materialised. Container transmits between 6.1 and 32 MHz at all times of the day, so the next time you're monitoring the HF bands, be sure to listen out. And remember, it's not the woodpecker.